Ah yes, what a lovely little collection. I could stare at this all day. Oh wait, we're live? Oh hey! That's right! We're back! I know it's been months since Wave 2, but I am pleased to announce that the Commonwealth Collection Wave 3 is officially underway. And we've got plenty in store for all you merchandise junkies. From the e witty bitty to the absolutely ginormous from the characters you want to the characters you didn't know you wanted and of course the typical odds and ends. But as always, I'm getting ahead of myself because there's undoubtedly somebody watching who has no idea what the hell the Commonwealth Collection even is. So allow me to explain. So you've got little old me, an aspiring entrepreneur, not really, but for the sake of the story, let's pretend, and self-proclaimed number one connoisseur of Angry Bird Commonwealth merchandise. Their line of Angry Bird products is one of the most downright confusing histories and naturally, as anyone would, I wanted all the answers. And who better to contact than Conwalt themselves, you'd think? Well, nobody had actually managed to get a little more than a peep out of anybody associated with the company. Not that there's a long roll deck of names to run through anyways. But despite all of our efforts, I eventually found my in. And not only have I had all my questions answered, but I now essentially work for them. It's under the table, but an in nonetheless. During some of our initial communications, I quickly realized that they are quite adept at preserving their merchandise. We have this massive storage bunker where rows of product in the thousands from all sorts of IPs, not just Angry Birds, most of which are unique samples. I highly doubt other companies operate this way, though to be fair, they used to have a larger office space and they downsized and they had to find a place to stick all this stuff, but thank god they didn't toss it all, right? But as of today, is there a reason to keep any of this stuff around? No, not really, so why not sell the contents off? Better with collectors like you and me than in some dusty old basement. And so that's where I come in. I pay my way to New York, gather up enough merchandise to keep myself occupied, ship it all to myself, and sell the contents on eBay. Simple as that. And I just want to make this clear because I don't think I've ever addressed this before, but I'm not out here flipping these items on eBay and then running off to the proverbial bad piggy bank with my quick buck. I mean, that's just not how these things work, okay? I'm selling these on the behalf of Commonwealth. These are their items. Sure, they might be distributed by me, but ultimately, their items. They're allowed to profit off of what they own. It's called capitalism. You ever heard of it? It's a novel concept. It was in there a long ago. Anyways, I make a small percentage of the sales based on the work I do. Plus, I get to oversee the expansive merchandise archive you see before you, which admittedly is a pretty nice perk. Always was my goal to keep them united and looking sharp. But back to the point, if you don't want to take advantage of this opportunity, we're just not going to provide it. But two waves in, I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. As for Wave 3 specifics, what exactly makes this wave so special? Well, this time around, we're gonna have six boxes, each with a relatively loose theme, unlike the random assortments we've looked at in the past, so look forward to that. I'll be posting an unboxing on my channel for six straight weeks. The merchandise uncovered from said unboxing will then go up for sale on my eBay shop the following week at a set time, where you'll be able to purchase the merchandise showcased should you choose. This gives everyone a heads up, and in theory, a fair chance of getting what they want. Also, this next bit applies to US buyers only, but we're gonna start offering free shipping on orders of $100 or more. So basically, if you order a sample, you're pretty much shoehorned in for this. And sorry, international buyers, but I mean, you get it. And if you don't get it, I'll explain it to you in the comments. Each item comes with a very fancy certificate of authenticity, so you'll always be sure of your item's origins. Plus, they're printed both front and back this time around. And on top of that, they are now game specific. So let's say you ordered something from Classic and you'd like your certificate to reflect that. Well, we got that covered. 
How about Halloween? Got that covered too. Christmas? Oh yeah, you know it. Valentine's? Well, we're getting a bit niche, but got that covered too. We can go on, and on, and on. You get the gist. And if you'd like to collect all eight, well, you've fallen right for our trap. <laughs> Somebody cut that out. Anyways, uh, be on the lookout for the very first unboxing of Wave 3. Should be premiering on the channel within the next week or two. Give or take, of course. If you have any comments, questions, or complaints, you can let me know in the comment section below. And with that I say, peace out.